Am I the asshole for telling my friend I don't want to take the same flights as her for my honeymoon? I'm, F, 30, getting married very soon and planning to go to Barcelona for my honeymoon, which I thought I had told my best friend, F, 30. A few days ago my friend told me that she is planning a trip to Barcelona the day after my wedding, which I was initially taken aback by since I thought she had planned this knowing that I was going. My friend has joked before about tagging along to my honeymoon and feel can be clingy at times which has been noted and commented on by other friends. She made it clear that she didn't know about my plans but that she will go ahead with her plans. I would prefer if this wasn't the case but I can't stop her from going to a part of the world. From previous encounters, I anticipate that she will want to spend some time with us while we are there and can foresee her feeling offended if we don't. I suggested to my friend that if we are all going at the same time that my husband and I book different flights, and expressed that I would not feel comfortable being on the exact same flights. After our conversation I get a phone call from my other friend asking me what I've done to make my best friend upset. She was upset by the comment that I made about feeling uncomfortable with taking the same flights and can't understand what about that makes me uncomfortable. She says that I have made her feel as though she's done something wrong hence why I'm avoiding being in the same airplane as her. This was really surprising to me and now my best friend doesn't want to speak to me and my second friend is seemingly on my best friend's side and says I should apologize. I feel so confused. I feel as though I am justified in wanting to take separate flights. I don't want to dismiss my friend's feelings but I'm struggling to understand her reaction. Not the asshole, but the fact that you can't see that this was intentional is ridiculous. Which I thought I had told my best friend. You did. My friend has joked before about tagging along to my honeymoon. She wasn't joking. She fully planned this. She planned to spend the entire trip with you and is now sulking because you've told her that won't be happening. She is obsessed with you and is mad that you're being taken from her. You need to put boundaries and space between you before she gets other bright ideas. Not the asshole. Your friend 100,000% wants to tag along to your honeymoon. Her comments in jest have a kernel of truth, air, more than a kernel. This is giving hardcore SWF. Does your friend have a crush on you, maybe? In the meantime if she asks about your plans, lie. Tell her you're going to do X on Tuesday, when you have no intention of doing that. Maybe tell her you guys have decided to only spend half your time in Barcelona and the other half in, Madrid, Seville, Rome, Paris, some other city you have no intentions of visiting. Not the asshole your friend is being manipulative and doing some damage control by complaining to your other friend and playing the hurt party to distract from the fact she is essentially trying to tag along on your honeymoon. I'd give her a sorry, you're feeling that way, non-apology and then I would provide her with incorrect details of your flight and mention a hotel on the opposite side of town from where you will be staying. If she tries calling or messaging whilst on your honeymoon have an auto-response message set up that states, thanks for reaching out, we are currently on our honeymoon and will reach out when we return. Not the asshole. Your friend was totally planning to crash your honeymoon. She's indignant because you let her know you won't let her do that. Not anything about the flight. She had this lovely fantasy about being the third wheel at your honeymoon, and you crushed it. Now she's stuck with a plane ticket to a solo vacation she doesn't want to take alone and a best friend who doesn't want to see her there. Not the asshole. Change your flights. Do not tell anyone other than a parent where you're staying. Tell them they are not to give that information to anyone, and tell them why. As someone above suggested, Put an automatic message response on your cell phones. And use this opportunity to start distancing from this person, because she sounds a little unhinged and it will not help your marriage when she tries to crash everything else. Having visions right now, if Op has kids, of this friend trying to get into the room while Op is giving birth. Not the asshole it's obvious she booked the flight to Barcelona intentionally and there's nothing wrong with distancing yourself from her during this trip, it's your honeymoon after all. Totally not blaming you, but your mistake was telling her your plans while knowing how clingy she can be. Am I the asshole for refusing to switch my daughter to another school? I have a daughter, 15F. She was always happy with her school and has good friends. Some years ago when my son was her age, I switched him to an elite private school. Not because I thought the education was better but they follow an international curriculum based on the UK system and this is helpful for applying to international universities who recognize the system. My son will be studying engineering abroad. At the time when my son changed schools my daughter said she was happy not to switch schools and said it would be hard to make new friends etc. However now since he started attending she has gotten jealous and started reading his textbooks especially the science ones and going through things like the yearbook. She is now upset with me because I refused to switch her to the school even though she herself at the time said she was happy where she was. While I can afford it, the education isn't really better and I only sent my son there so that foreign universities recognize the credential better. Furthermore the school environment would be quite different. 
She goes to a girls only school and this is company ed and most of the girls at the school are foreigners with different values and usually the kids of diplomats and embassy workers and the boys are either the kids of diplomats or the ultra rich locals and I am concerned this could cause her to either not fit in or lose her morals. Am I the asshole here? Info. Are you worried about son, losing his morals, at his den of sin school? You are the asshole. When she was younger and school was more about friends than education, she was fine with staying where she was. Now that she's the same age as your son was when he switched schools, she's looking through his textbooks and realizing that it's far better opportunities. Dot yet you want to deny her that because she would be transferring out of an all-girls school and losing her morals. This is probably the single most sexist thing I've read from a parent on this sub. You are the asshole. I am concerned this could cause her to either not fit in or lose her morals. That alone makes you the A-age. It isn't okay that you think it's okay to deny your daughter opportunities she now says she wants that you're giving your son. Plus you don't seem concerned about him, losing his morals. Why? You are the asshole. Some of your justification for not sending her to this school sounds gender biased or even sexist as you said the girls who attend are one type of person and the boys who go there are another. If the advantage gained by attending this new school is better for your son's future would it not also expand the opportunities for your daughter? It seems natural for her to change her mind after seeing her brother get this opportunity. Wouldn't she also be able to maintain her current friendships outside of school? Also without her current friend group wouldn't she have less social distractions making it easier to focus on her studies? You are the asshole. It's a pretty asshole move not to give your daughter the same opportunity as you son. The excuses you find about losing herself or lose her morals, etc. It seems that you don't trust her at all. If your daughter has her own morals, is a good kid that knows her rights from wrongs, then what's your reason from not trusting her going to a school that's different? You also seems to think that because the new school is company ed she will go, boy crazy, hormonal and basically fuck every kid. Not to mention how low you think of the kids of diplomats and embassy workers. You are very xenophobic for someone that will send her son to study abroad. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. I know, different cultures and all that, but this reads pretty sexist to me. Why doesn't your daughter get the same opportunities to study abroad as your son? And why does the concern about losing morals not apply to him? Am I the asshole for refusing to pay double my own meal bill at a family event? We had a family meal out for my nan's birthday yesterday. Family included. Nan. Family A. Two parents with three adult children, ages 18, 23, 25. Family B. Two parents with disabled, adult son. Adult C. Family D. Two parents with two, school-age children. Me. 30 F. This was arranged by my family A 25 F cousin, with meals pre-ordered from a fixed price menu. I chose a two-course meal plus soft drink. Everybody else, minus young children, had a three-course meal, two alcoholic drinks and a hot drink each. For the sake of maths, I've removed the service charge tips from the bill. The bill arrived, and I expected to pay for my meal and drink, plus two pounds towards Nan's meal. Each of us contributed, so Nan ate for free. My meal was 18 pounds and 95 pence, plus two pounds and 50 pence drink, so I was expecting a bill 25 pounds. The three-course meal everybody else had was 22 pounds and 95 pence, and each person spent a similar figure on alcoholic and hot drinks, plus their own contribution to Nan's meal. My adult, 1825, cousins in families A and B would be paid for by their parents. My family A25F cousin said each adult owed 50 pounds, including division of school-aged children's meals amongst everybody. I checked my sums again my bill was definitely 25 pounds but nobody mentioned that I consumed half of what everybody else had because they either wanted a cheaper bill or wanted to go home, so I reminded my cousin of my smaller meal and lack of alcoholic and hot drinks. I left the room for 5 minutes, and chaos ensued. Everybody was shouting at everybody, and my family D brother-in-law started yelling at me whilst my family a aunt shouted at him, she's not my granddaughter, so why do I have to pay for her? People then glared at me or avoided my eyes, and family B aunt said, you. Why can't you just muck in like everybody else? And when I said I can't afford to pay double what my actual bill was, she said, then why didn't you say that at the start? What do we do, not invite you to future events? My family a 23M cousin paid the bill, and later messaged each person with what they owed him. For reference, we have never split bills, down the middle. With different, individual family sizes involved including children with an age range of 20 years, it's not been fair to do so, so historically bills have been paid with each family paying their own way. Now, with the aforementioned children now being adults, this rule has shifted a couple of times to splitting a bill equally amongst all of the adults, with no thought towards anyone, usually me, who consumed less food and no alcohol. 
I challenged this once before, and my family a aunt announced, SHE, me, is paying, 10 pounds for jacket potato and coke, and everybody else is paying, 35 pounds for a two course meal and two G and T's, making everybody roll their eyes at me for being difficult, different, a tight ass, etc. Am I the asshole for asking to pay only for what I have consumed at this family event plus my contribution for Nan's meal? Not the asshole. I don't understand. Why isn't everyone paying his, her own meal? I am not from and not in the US and in the country where I live it would be totally disgusting to demand that someone who has individually $25 to pay should pay $50. It might be a cultural thing, but here this wouldn't be a point of discussion at all. Not the asshole why on earth would someone expect for you to pitch in for their kids meals? pouting pouting their kids, they pay. I am sure you don't need anyone to tell you for future meals y'all need to decide how y'all want to handle the bill in advance. Not the asshole. What do we do? Not invite you to future events. Well you could try ordering meals you can afford too. Not the asshole. You don't have kids. Why should you pay for them? Or other people's drinks, food. In future, make a waiter aware that you would like your own bill where possibly. They can fight about who pays for what between themselves on their shared one. Not the asshole save up a bit and set it aside for the next large family meal then order the most expensive thing possible, and when the bill comes around, let them split it evenly and see how they feel about it then. Take Nan out to brunch or lunch on your own. Skipping the drama over the tab will be more pleasant for her too. Am I the asshole for yelling at my nephew to stop mocking my daughter? Hello I, 27F, have a 10-month-old daughter. She's been going through a happy screeching phase and we have been trying to work on soft tones. She is starting to understand. She also does fuss sometimes if she makes a tumble now that she cruises on furniture. Usually if we don't make a sad expression or negative reaction she's perfectly happy after a brief few seconds. However, my nephew, 10M, just spent the night after a full day of birthday festivities with us. He has mocked her screeching even louder and has even tried to get her to screech. He also will tease her with toys and put them out of reach and twice I caught him taking her bottle away in the car. I told him at least three times to not mock her like that and she copies so she will drone on. When she fussed after a minor fall yesterday, he did it again and she cried more than the few seconds she usually would. I tried once more to reason and say, I'm sorry if the noise bothers you. I know baby crying is frustrating but can you please leave the room or put on headphones next time. She will stop crying after about 10 seconds once she knows she's safe, today she face planted on the tile because her dumb mom, me, didn't realize the floor was so wet after cleaning her high chair. She started screaming much more than normal so I could tell she really was hurt and then my nephew chimed in with an even louder scream. He was in another room when this happened. I yelled, less than name, stop, from the other room. My husband, 29M, and also his biological uncle said I was way out of line. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. What was husband doing to help fix the, continual, situation, apart from putting you down? He needs to man up and tell the 10 yo to shut up. Info. Where are his parents? Who is supposed to be watching him to make sure he doesn't steal the baby's toys? I mean if you raised your voice and said his name and to stop I don't really classify that as yelling unless you went into a full-blown rant yelling at him. What was out of line about telling your bratty nephew to knock it off? Sometimes, kids need that exact kind of very direct instructions. You tried several times to explain why he needed to stop mocking your baby. He clearly did not care to change his behavior, so you gave him a very simple yet stern instruction to stop. Not the asshole. You didn't hit him, you didn't bully him, you didn't act in any kind of unreasonable way. You were stern and very clear. There's nothing wrong with that. However, my nephew, 10M, just spent the night after a full day of birthday festivities with us. I hope he enjoys the last sleepover he will be having. Poor guests do not get invited back. Not the asshole. You told this kid over and over to stop mocking her and gave him other ways to cope with her screeching. I don't think your husband realizes how much his darling nephew has been pushing this.